Hey guys, Brandon here. So we had a litter of baby bows born on uh, May 14th. It was a jungle VPI male bred to a uh, double het VPI leopard female. So those babies at this point have already shed out. And the point of this video is actually just to kind of show what we do to kind of keep track of everything and figure out kind of what's going on with each litter. Um, so that's going to be involving sexing, identification, as well as labeling them. So after the babies are born, usually I'll pull them from the mom, rinse them off, set them up in a bin with a little bit of water, and they're usually in that bin for 24 to 48 hours. After that, I dump out the water, clean the tub, and then I add bedding in there. That helps keep the humidity up and allows them to get their first shed. I don't start separating them until after they have had their first sheds. All right guys, so this next part, we're basically just gonna be pulling out each individual animal. We're gonna be giving them their label identification, which is gonna be the year, which is 22, the litter number, which this one is the fourth litter of the year, and then it's gonna be sequential numbers after that, one, two, three, four, so on and so forth. This is also the time where we're gonna to take to identify what the animals are, as well as sex them. So when I get these babies out, the first thing I do is I set up a nice simple bin for them. And this is just gonna have a, a water dish as well as a paper towel. The reason why I started off with the paper towel is so basically there's room to move if the snake does not wanna eat in this environment. I can always add bedding, I can always add a hide, I can always add different things that oftentimes can get a stubborn animal to eat their first meal. During this time, I'm going to basically read off the identification number, the genetics, as well as the gender of this animal. My fiance is gonna write it down. I'm gonna use one of these guys, which is basically just a little label printer. Um, we're going to put that on the front of the enclosure until I make a cage card off of Husbandry Pro. I use Husbandry Pro, that way I can track the amount of meals that each animal has had to ensure that they are ready to go. Sometimes I'll actually use some of the painter's tape on the front of the bin, and then I will just mark down as they have had each individual meals. So now that these animals have had their first sheds, what we're gonna do is we're going to separate them, sex them, and ID them. So for that, I just use one of these little printers, and I just put the basic ID number for this particular litter. It is going to be 22, because it's 2022, L4 because it's the fourth litter of the year, and then it's gonna be sequential numbers. So one, two, three, so on and so forth until we have the whole litter accounted for. So I'm just gonna go through a couple of these animals. Um, it's all gonna be fairly similar. I'm gonna start with the VPIs first just because they are the most visually appealing from the litter. So right here we have a uh, VPI. This one is not a jungle. It doesn't have any striping. It doesn't have any lateral lines going around the side. And it doesn't really have a, a strong jungle head marking. All right. So now we're going to sex the animal. Nope, it's definitely a male. Took a second to feel them, but they were definitely there. So now I'm basically just going to get this guy in one of these bins here. Let's just actually use this one right here. Close that up. That's where we pull this guy out. Now we're going to make that label for him. So 22, litter 4. And this is going to be 0, 1, and M because it is a male. So now I'm going to print that off. So the reason why I use this instead of one of these Husbandry Pro cage cards is because I don't know what they are yet, so I can't really put them in the system. Now we're just going to attach that to the front of the tub. And then this will come off as soon as we get the appropriate cage card on each cage. All right, so here we have a jungle VPI that is possible het leopard. Although the female was just a possible het, with, le with leopards you can pretty much tell what's going to be a het or not. Um, so now we're going to kind of just go over how to sex a baby boa. But before that, let's identify what makes this animal, in fact, a jungle. So jungles often have this very unique head spear, as you can see here. They also have some sort of kind of pixelation kind of going along the sides, usually with a very clean back and a little bit kind of dirtier sides. Um, jungles are also known for very aberrant patterns. So here you have a nice striped tail. 
Um, you also have some kind of keyhole saddles along the body. So now when we get to sexing, so all we're gonna do is basically hold the animal kind of upside down more or less. You start at the vent, you're going to slowly apply pressure and basically drag the thumb across. If it's a male, you're actually gonna feel some little bumps kind of along the way. If it's a female, you're not gonna feel anything. So on this one, Definitely feeling some bumps in there. So this guy here is a very nice and very pretty, or should I say handsome, jungle VPI possible head leopard. So now we're gonna set him up again using the ID system, and that's gonna be 220402, because we already set up one of the other babies. So now that we have all the babies set up, their own individual tubs, now basically we're just going to give them a couple days to settle in and get a little comfortable before we offer them their first meal. Thanks for taking the time to check out the video. If you could, leave a comment with how you like to set up your baby bows. As always, links are in the description if you'd like to stay up to date with what we have available as well as what's going on around here. Thanks again for watching and make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share the video with a friend if you think they might benefit from this video. All right, thanks again.